Hi, welcome to this short UI table view tutorial. Let's start by creating a new single view application and going to our main storyboard. Let's add a table view component. And now let's set the cell identifier. We will use that later in code. So let's click on the cell and to your right you'll see the cell identifier. Let's call it cell for now. Now let's go to our header file and implement two protocols. One will be our table view delegate and the other is our table view data source. Now let's go back to the interface builder and make those two connections. Just control drag from the table view into the view controller and mark the data source and then again for the delegate. Now in our header file we need to declare a new IB outlet, give our table view a name, we'll call it my table view and going back to the interface builder we'll make that connection so control drag into the table view now again in our header file we need to create a new array that will hold all the information that our list view will populate so we'll create a new ns array and call it table view data source And now in the implementation file on view did load we will fill that array with three objects. One will be called item 1, the other is item 2 and item 3. Once we will run this app you will see those three items appear on our list view. In this method we will return our array count. So as many items as we have in our array that will be the amount of rows we will have in the table view. In this method we will simply return 50 and that will be the height of each row in our table view. This cell for row at index path method is being called right before a row in the table view is being filled with information. So this is how your code should look like at this point. If you remember from the beginning of this tutorial, this is the cell identifier. This one should match the one we declared on the interface builder. And now let's create a new ns string, call it title text, and we will take the value of it from the row of our table view data source array. We will use the index path row value that we receive from this method to determine which row we are filling at this specific loop. Now we will set the text label in each cell using 
the title text NS array we created. Now let's give it a run and you will see those three items appearing on our list.